Hey y'all, like always, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers, and welcome any new viewers, and I am so thankful that y'all tune into this channel every time y'all watch my videos, because it really does help my channel grow, and it lets me know that y'all are enjoying what I put out, and I am doing this for y'all. I come up with these ideas, and I think y'all might like how to make them. Now, I'm trying something for the 4th of July. I'm going to be doing two projects on this video. One is just super easy. I saw them. I'm going to put them together. And it's that simple. It's just simple decor. And the next one I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt to make a 4th of July like angel for outdoors. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to go ahead and jump in and show y'all what is needed for this project. Alright, for the first project, like I said, it's going to be super easy to do. You're just going to need these table decorations that you can get from Dollar Tree. The red, the silver, and the blue. And that's all you're going to need for that project. Now, the next project, I had got this from Walmart, but I'm sure you can find something. You might be able to find something around this size at Dollar Tree. But I got a foam ball from Walmart. I have one of these vine reefs that my mom made. You can just go get vine out of your yard and twist around and make a reef, or you can just find one from somewhere. Else. But I would go with that if you have them in your yard. Now, the next piece is the fairy wings that I got from Dollar Tree. They're very 4th of July, and this is actually what gave me the idea to make this project. And then, last but not least, I have three different things and we'll see which one works the best but I have a scarf from Dollar Tree I have a windsock I got from Dollar Tree that I thought might work and then this was my first idea is bunting that I got from Walmart I believe they have some at Dollar Tree but I don't think it's gonna be big enough so this is probably gonna be a no all right y'all let's get started Alright y'all, I went ahead and already opened them, but this is going to be the first project that's super simple. Like I said, you'll get these from Dollar Tree, and this is what I'm talking about when I say super simple. You can just go ahead and buy them and open them up and put them together, or you can do what I'm going to do. And I just thought it'd be really cool if you had like that, see? And that's all you have to do for this project. Like I said, super simple. I just thought it'd be neat, like I said, to have different colors. So it doesn't look completely the same. And it also gives you... I'm sorry, I can't even get this one together. <laughs> just, It just gives it a different look. At least to me, I think it does. So... There's number two. And so you'll get a silver and a red, a silver and a blue, and then a red and a blue out of these three. Look how easy that was. Up there. I'm having technical difficulties here. Alright, I will say you have to be careful because apparently they are different sizes, so you want to make sure you get the right one, and I messed up. I put the two that were cut the same way on these, so they didn't stand right, but, you know, anybody can make that mistake, but, so they are done. That was a simple, easy project that takes you five seconds to do, and it's a great table decor for your party, 4th of July party. Alright y'all, we're going to move on to the next part, and we're going to be attempting to make a 4th of July decor piece that's going to be like an angel. So I'm going to take this scarf I got from Dollar Tree, and I want to wrap my foam ball in it. Sorry, it flew out of my hand. And... What I'm going to do is I'm going to work on gluing 
it down so that it stays on there. So, sorry. Sorry, it's just. And then my next step is I want to make sure that it is tight. So I'm gonna glue this. And don't worry if you don't get it in the right spot, you can always add more glue. Because see, this isn't covered completely, so that's not a big deal. So, I'm just going to, there we go. And I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'm just doing this to make sure that it is tight where I need it to be. It may not be perfectly tight, but it'll work. Alright, so that is it covered. And I have the rest I'm going to take and I am literally just going to wrap it around and tie it. So there is my head. I'm going to call it is my head. So give me a second. We're going to move on to the next part. Alright y'all, I chose to use a little wind tunnel piece, but I am going to have to take the string off and I'll have to restring to make it bigger so that it will work. So I am just going to cut here. and then just unstring it. Alright. So, my next step is to put the wings on it. So, I'm going to cut all this extra off that I don't need on these wings. And then I'm going to glue it like this to the back so that when you're looking in the front you'll see all the sparkle stuff. So. Give me a second. So that is my next step. Let me get it on there and then I will worry about making sure it stays better. Because I don't want it flapping like that. 
I mean, if you want it to flat like that, you can. But I'm just going to glue it completely down. let it dry and then we'll move to the next step alright so the next step I'm going to try to attach the head and to do that <laughs> sorry y'all I'm just going to try to glue the wind tunnel thing around it but before I do that actually I just want to get the head in there and I need to make the strings longer, so I'm actually going to do that. I'm sorry, y'all. I forgot about that. Alright, so. I'm going to feed this through there. This is just some string I had. If you don't have any and you have fishing line, that'll work too. If this doesn't work, I'm going to go with the fishing line like I did last time. I'm not going to fight with something. I have backups. That's why you should always have backups on your plans. Just in case something doesn't work the way you want it to. Give me a second. Let me... I messed that up. <laughs> nope. I know I can do this. My brain's not functioning sometimes, so. But. Like I said, I'm not going to fight with it if it doesn't want to work. Plan B. Let's see how this is way smaller, thinner, whatever you want to call it, it should work. Is this where? I will get it in there. I'm just trying not to tear anything up. I don't know. I don't know how that got stuck in there. I opened that door. Well, I had it in there and then I moved it. stupid sometimes when I don't do when it doesn't do what I want it to do because I know I can get to work but then I can't do it <laughs> you know what would work really well right now a um a needle I don't want to make the hole too big because then it might just tear up the thing. But like I said, this is small enough it should fit in there. I'm just having trouble doing it. And if you use this, you know, you're not going to see it as much as you would the string. It took a little work, but I did get it through, so now I'm going to work on the other two. You just got to 
finesse it. You may, may, you may have to make the hole bigger, like I said, but you can get it to work. See, that one worked so much easier than the first one. I don't understand why I had trouble with the first one, but you know, sometimes you do. And you just cut off and then you pull out the side that you're not going to be, that you cut. And there's two down. You got one more to go. So you're going to find the hole. So. And I am just making it nice and long just to make sure I don't have any problems when I get this done. It got big on me. Yeah, make sure the loop is nice and small so that it'll fit through the hole. I might have to make that a little bit bigger. Now I'm gonna say it again just in case I forgot. Well, I'm gonna say this just in case I forgot to say it. This idea came from looking at the wings. That's where I got the idea from. I saw the wings at Dollar Tree and a 4th of July decoration is what came to mind. And I'm happy it did. Okay, so. That is done. Now we just have to glue the head together. Well, not together, but on it. So we're going to stick the head back in there. You know what? Hold on a second, y'all. I don't want this to come loose again. I'm just going to add some glue to hold it in place. And I'm going to do it to all three of them. Because I'm going to be messing around with the head, so I don't want it to come loose. this side right. so now that I got the head in there I gotta glue the head on. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that. And I'm gonna. Glue it all the way around.
I'm going to try to make sure that it is nice. Plenty of glue. Now, I will tell y'all, I am doing this with hot glue, but if you live in the south, it is not a good idea to do that. And this is going to go outside. It's not a good idea to use hot glue for these kind of projects because in the south, the summer is hot and your glue will melt and fall off. How do I know this? Because it's happened to me. Oops. You want to make sure you use the right glue for your projects. Right. So, the last step is to tie together overhead give me a second I'll lift the camera up and you're gonna want it to be equal so that it stays up and hopefully I'm doing this right <laughs> so first thing I want to do is I want to just tie the, all the strings together and I got my finger caught get my finger caught down. Okay, there it goes. Let's see if I can get my finger out of it. Give me a second, y'all. Alright, y'all. Tying the hanger 2.0. I had problems with my last one. The last tying of it. So I'm going to try to get it to be nice and still. And I want to tie it as close to the head as possible so that it's evenly done. Sorry. And this just helps to make it stronger. I mean, even so it stays the right way. I, I can't talk, y'all. And I had problems again. I will get this. Hold on. All right, so I thought I had to do what I wanted to do, and I literally had to come all the way down here and do it. I suck at this so bad. Please don't judge me. So I finally got that going, and now we just need to hang a hook on it, and let's see what we got. I think I'm going to go ahead and use what was already on here just to, for the next part. Give me a second, y'all. Because we want it to hang. So. And I'm going to try not to go too far because. I don't want it touching the ground. Catching my drift. So. I think this is plenty enough. So. And then what I'm going to do, what you'll notice, is I'm going to add a little glue to each part just to help hold it on there. Hold it tight. I always do that because I don't want the knots to come off. And then my next step is just to cut the excess off. And there you have it. 
a hanging angel. You know what? I might pick the wings up a little because they are a little low. So let me see about fixing up. All right, y'all, there it is with the wings fixed. I'm going to take it outside and hang it, and I'll shoot the ending outside so y'all can see what it looks like in its full glory. So let's get to that part. Okay, y'all, so this is my Liberty Angel hanging outside. Perfect decoration for the 4th of July. I love how it came out. I decided not to go with the crown on the head because apparently the one I had was too big, and I couldn't find a smaller one that was already made So in my stuff. So I just decided... I didn't need it and I really don't think I need it. I think it came out looking really good, but if you want to put one on there, you're more than free to do it. So, I absolutely love how this project came out. If you do too, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it helps my channel to grow. And I hope you liked the first project too because it was super simple but beautiful for 4th of July table decorations, those stars. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.